Hello everyone, this is Evo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So in this video, I'm going to run through the hotfix note which will drop on 16 May where it mentions the um, adjusted rewards for the gameplay feature specifically for the Song of Strife. So for those of you guys who haven't gone into the new season, all these progression rewards, Legends Trial rewards, Corrupted Creature rewards as well as all the other rewards which were supposedly the cause of the controversy will be reverted and you'll be able to claim them as you progress through the game so more premium summons more gems as well as more invite letters to do your usual summons itself okay so this one comes tomorrow i'm pretty confident to say that uh, they'll probably if you have cleared all the afk stages all the legend trial all the corrupted creatures as well as you have claimed all the chests itself they'll probably just calculate based on the numbers that you have cleared for example how many chests have you claimed and then what legend trial level you are at or which afk stage you are at and then they'll just return the resources to you guys through the mailbox system itself so uh, i'll leave the calculations to you guys right uh this is pretty much what was done in the ptr server so pretty straightforward it should come tomorrow on reset based on this news so good job reddit right thank you very much for all this contribution and next one right this one is of concern for my yesterday's video as well which is the noble path adjustments so after internal investigation <laughs> we'll confirm that the labeled value of uh, season noble path travel log doesn't match the actual value of their rewards <laughs> i don't know how true is that but we'll update the labels and add new rewards to the season travel logs players who have already purchased and claimed the level rewards will receive the appropriate compensation so they'll be giving factional acorns right uh, 28 for the free one and then uh 140 for the paid one so a total of 560 right reverting back to the previous one then for the a level soul stone 400 for the free one and then 1200 for the paid one so 1600 is that the same as the previous one i think so right 1060 divided by 60 yeah 20 correct it's the same one so we're gonna make the acorns as well as the a level soul stones so i think in general it's a win because we got 30 invite letter as well as uh 30 rate up right so that's 60 summons Com so we are not getting the guaranteed chest as well as the 20 elite letter back but 60 summons comparison in comparison to 20 elite letters as well as guaranteed chests i i think it's subjective but i would take the more summons because there's a higher chance i might be lucky with my gacha luck and i'll get better units for that okay so this is for those of you guys who are still concerned with the noble path adjustments i think this will also drop tomorrow okay so we will probably be, be getting a lot of stuff tomorrow in the mailbox so don't be surprised if you don't know what's going on right you're, you're just playing your own game in the new season itself all of a sudden eh, why my mailbox got so many stuff right yeah this is basically it right all the increased rewards as well as the noble path rewards if you bought the pack itself right even if you're free to play you're still getting the 400 soul stones as well as the 28 acorns as you progress through the free seasonal travel log itself okay so that's that i think that's pretty much it for the new site right bug fixes okay i don't think there's anything important here let me just briefly run through it if there's anything that's important that i should mention okay seasonal season opening pop-up will trigger multiple times i mean multiple times might not be bad if, if the if the if the pack is worth it i mean i will take it five times <laughs> okay what else what else okay okay yeah that's pretty much it right for the new site so uh i think the season noble path is something that people will be concerned about and probably when all these increased rewards will come so everything will come tomorrow right 16 may i think it's probably on a reset so 20 24 utc and uh yeah stay tuned just keep keep a look out for your mailbox itself so next let's run through the another topic which i think a lot of people ask me with regards to the uh, last few videos uh let me just go into the game right so this is my game uh this uh thing that i want to talk about right is actually with regards to the uh progression resources right so for this progression resources itself uh what i mean by progression resources basically the resource that you use to level up your units which are your your exp books as well as your goal as well as your hero essence itself so uh i i'll be honest with you guys i think uh the way to be to obtain more as a free to pay player is to be more efficient with your hourglasses as well as your daily quest which i already mentioned about in the previous progression video so um 
effectively i'll say like you want to push as much as possible and then you use all these glasses which i mentioned before so that's one way for free to play players to get more the other way for you to get the exp books right is from noble path obviously so for noble path there's actually the free site as well as the secret travel log which is the paid site if you're somebody who doesn't really care about how fast you push i think buying the base one is more than sufficient buying the legendary travel log will give you additional 20 levels which is a head start in terms of exp so if you go buy the base one you'll start at level one but if you buy the legendary one you will start at level 20. so for those of you guys who are asking zip how are you getting all these uh progression resources that fast uh obviously my mainly is from season noble puff like yeah pay to win guys so, so that's for the uh noble puff side uh, the other way you can obviously get resources is from the likes of your corrupted creatures which i cleared out everything so whenever you're able to clear out corrupted creatures right over here there's a lot of people whenever you can clear out corrupted creatures you want to clear them because clearing them will give you the exp book they'll give you the essence some equipments which will power up your characters equipment is a very important part of uh progression itself because uh being able to uh, power up your equipments allows your units to have a lot more stats more specifically to be efficient with your resources i think usually for myself i will just power up the equipments whenever i need it to push progression so for example if i take a look at my current resonance level it's 175 i think i should be able to get 180 by the end of today so i won't actually upgrade my resources if i'm not actively pushing or if i don't need the additional power so I'll just pace myself to upgrade the equipments accordingly based on what I need. I think this one is covered in the equipment guide, so I'm not gonna cover too much. So this way you can manage the stones because you don't have you kind of want to be able to power up your equipments when you need to push, right? When you're not pushing, when you are AFKing, when you are doing your own stuff in real life or you're working, then just let your resources accumulate, then level up your unit and then level up the equipments accordingly. So that's one thing that i usually tell people um the other thing that i think uh you guys can do to get more resources other than corrupted creatures is to run around the map claim all the chests sometimes on the floor there's some glowy glowy aura thing you kind of want to uh, go to the glowy glowy aura thing i think i claimed everything and then there's some like uh, additional essence and go there it's not a lot but uh, if you can pick up like 50 that's still like 50 times 6 so that's like at least a 300 essence right there right so um every little bit counts so over time it adds up and over one week it's quite a lot okay uh last one uh one another thing that you can do to get all the stuff is obviously to progress through the story clear out all the miasma and then uh clear out whatever mobs you can find on the map because miasma as well as all the other mobs on the map also give you all the progression resources and there's another way for you to get more resources which is through the primer lot so for the season progression we have this kaleido scarab uh but uh sadly primer lot is not going to open anytime soon because if you take a look at this primer lot i still have 27 days on my server so it will still be quite a while so you shouldn't rely too much on this for resources okay don't bother it is it's i'll say like a good to have i think it will probably unlock once we are closer to level 200 plus or 300 by then based on the timing i think 30 days to reach 300 should be achievable and the last one which you can get more resources let me let me just go through this one just to confirm over here i don't think you can get like progression resources but here you'll be able to get your equipment but the thing about the thing i don't really like about uh this equipment chest is i think right now uh these equipment chests are binded to your resonance level so you cannot unlock them earlier so it paces to your resonance level but i think uh as you progress through the thing as you unlock all these uh, different uh quests itself you should be able to reach this required resonance level to unlock the level 22 uh 220 chest itself so that's something you want to keep a lookout for so for this one because you get render equipments right you kind of want to if you, you if you have a situation where you are going to get this equipment chest right you might want to save up your forging stones so that you open this first see what equipments you get and then use the forging stones to upgrade the others which you might want to power up so that's one way to manage the equipment and then the last thing the last way you can get obviously is from uh give me a moment oh yeah fine there's two more ways right so the, the one is from the hourglass obviously right so here gives you uh this one gives you uh two hours worth so every day you get one free 
then you can buy up to four times if you're a payer but usually i'll just buy two times as you guys can see i i don't want to spend too much gems because the the third one costs quite a bit the third one the third one costs 200 and then it costs even more so depends on how much uh, gems you're willing to commit depends on how willy you are or how competitive you are usually for me it's two sometimes three if i am very close to pushing contents and i don't want to waste time so that's uh, something for your consideration and uh the last one is obviously for random pop-ups so for pop-ups itself i don't think the pop-ups actually offers the exp book but for pop-ups they actually offer the seasonal essence which is something that you might need i'll say more towards the mid late game i think in general the progression system for the unit levels is pretty similar to the original starter story so uh i will see ourselves facing this essence deficit somewhere in the 180 to 200 plus range really really soon because uh, the amount needed to level up is increasing a lot so if let's say you are planning to spend in the game or if you are already you are already a active spender then you encounter all these seasonal pop-ups you can definitely buy it if you want to have a head start in terms of your essence accumulation so yeah that's pretty much it right just a simple patch note for the hotfix as well as some ways to get more progression resources thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys